prominent issues that are coming up. Uh, number one are the political violence that has been occurring around the country just after the election. And uh, they just halos sunod-sunod. Kaya naging very prominent sa pag-iisip ng taong bayan na, na masyado na talagang naging malala ito. And there's no other method that I, I know about that is effective but for us to be watchful, to conduct continual uh, drives uh, um, every so often, mga random drive na maglalagay tayo bigla ng checkpoint at nakatitignan natin basta't walang mga, wala mga illegal firearms. That is one of the tools that we have to watch out um, when we are trying to avoid what has been a developing warlordism, I think, at the, yeah, around the country. But yeah, yeah, that's one thing that we can do. Even of the political violence stems from drugs. It stems from uh, the territorial fights over areas where drugs are distributed, who controls the drug trade in that area, napapasubo ng ating mga police dahil sila sinasangkot dito sa mga pangyayaring ito. It's a very complicated situation. We have to be very careful because we have to be fair. It has to be just. We have nothing against the police force. We have nothing against officers of the police. There are partners in, uh, in uh, peace and order. At uh, kailangan magtutulungan tayo. And that is, uh, that is what I always advise our officers and uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the secretary of uh, local government. But there should be also a mechanism where those who have, uh, who have uh, succumbed to temptation uh, must be brought to account. We cannot do this in, in, in very broad strokes. We have to be very careful about uh, how we, how we uh, uh, our, the, the gathering of our intelligence so that we know that our intelligence is well assessed, is, is accurate, comes from reliable sources, is well assessed, well analyzed, para tama naman yung mga galaw natin, na we are moving against the people who are actually uh, involved.